Hello and welcome to ITNs. So in this session we are going to talk about Azure regions, geographies, peer regions and other things. Right? So Azure has about 160 plus data centers which are spread across 140 countries right? and it has more than 60 regions that are spread across the globe. Okay? So it provides high availability and scalability that is required for the small, medium and large organizations. Right? So we are going to look in detail on all these things in, uh, in this session and we are going to talk about a lot of other things which are related to how the Azure is designing the um, future uh, regions and what, what are the paired regions, what are the advantages of the paired regions and all. We are going to talk about uh, all those things in this session, all right? Okay, great. So let's see in the class. Thank you. Welcome back to ITNs. So let's get started. So we're going to talk about uh, Azure Infra Overview, and in that we are going to talk about Azure regions, availability zones, geographies, and region pairs. Right. So before we start, actually, I wanted to give you a brief uh, understanding about um, how how they are actually placed. So Azure provides a global reach with local presence that many businesses and organizations need that actually allows them to reduce the cost and helps them with the um, reduction in time and complexity of operating a global infrastructure while meeting local residency needs. Right? Azure is comprised of uh, 160 physical data centers which are spread across uh, 140 countries and they are arranged in regions and linked by one of the largest interconnected networks on the planet. Now each of these data centers offer high availability, scalability and the latest enhancements in cloud infrastructure with the connection to the global Azure network. Right? So, we, we are now let's have a look on um, the Azure regions. So Azure regions has more global regions than any other cloud service providers. Yeah, that's that's how uh, Azure is actually growing the market. Right, they're offering uh, the scale needed to bring applications closer to around the world, um, which is actually getting um, those applications near to where the users are. Um, by preserving data resiliency and offering comprehensive compliance and um, resiliency options to the customer, right? So, what is the region? So, it is a set of two to three data center deployed within the latency defined perimeter, right? So, what um, by with this actually the a region is a set of data centers deployed with a latency defined perimeter and connected through a dedicated regional low latency network okay now data can be replicated across regions for data resiliency right um, so deploy azure is used to deploy resources to a region which is near to the user so that uh, way we are we can access the resources um, without having uh, any latency right Okay, so as we uh, discussed, uh, Azure is um, uh, spread across 60 plus regions, spread across 140 countries, and is providing up to 1.6 petabytes of uh, bandwidth in a region. Yeah, so that that is the power of Azure. Yeah. All right. So there are two government regions uh, which are actually uh, in the undisclosed uh, status uh, the location of which is uh, kept secret and they are not actually made public 
but otherwise the other regions are uh, made public and they can be located from the graph all right now let's move to the next part one that is about azure availability zones okay so availability zones are physically separated locations within an azure region yeah so each availability zone is made up of one or more data centers equipped with independent power cooling and network yeah? Azure allows customer to run mission critical applications with high availability and low latency replication. Okay, great. So uh, now let's move to uh, the geographies. So as we can see, I mean, it's actually a way that Azure is using to organize regions. Okay, so it is discrete market and typically containing two or more regions. Yeah, now. It actually helps in preserving data resiliency and compliance boundaries. So, for example, you might have a region, um, or you might have a geography where actually they don't want to share the data uh, with the other geographies, um, and so for that reason, you want to keep the data in a specific geography. So, Azure um, with uh, Azure demarcation of um, uh, in, into geographies helps in preserving. Uh, the data res resiliency and compliance boundary. So each region is part of a single geography. Yeah, so you can't have multiple. Uh, I mean, a region part of a multiple geography, right? For example, if you have um, a region in India, like South India. In India, they have three regions. One is South India, one is uh, Central in India, and one is for West India. So we can't have um, those three regions part of Asia Pacific as well as part of Europe, right? It has to be part of single geography. Okay. Uh, specific service availability, compliance, and data resiliency applied to a, a specific geography. Okay. Great. Now let's talk about uh, Azure region pairs, right? All right. So Azure region pairs are consists of two uh, or more regions within the same geography. Okay. That provides business continuity and disaster recovery. Right. Uh, it is a means of uh, providing maintenance uh, uh, to to make sure that, uh, that there is no outage uh, as such to the end users. For example, whenever there is a maintenance activity that is to be uh, performed across uh, the regional pairs, it, it is ensured that one region is in each pair is updated at a time so that uh, there is no outage as such uh, for the other region. Yeah. In case if any, any outage uh, affects multiple region, yeah, uh, then at least one region in each pair is prioritized for recovery. Right? Uh, it's actually very self-explanatory. So what happens is, for example, there is a outage. Um, let's con consider that there is some global outage. So what happens is in that scenario, uh, when the regions are in paired, um, uh, paired uh, configuration. So one of the region uh, which is uh, in the paid will be prioritized to bring it up and then uh, the second second one will be uh, done a bit later once it will be done once all the other uh, regions are up and running. So that's how it is prioritized. Now let me explain you with the uh, with this graph right. So we have like uh, three regions right. So we have region one two and three yeah the, all these three regions are interconnected yeah they are part of single geography and they are they're part of the region pairs right now what happens when uh, one of the region okay let's consider this region there is an outage yeah but your data is still there your data can be accessed from uh, this region or this region okay so that that's the advantage of having region pairs your data is safe and uh, it can be accessed from anywhere, right? That's that's um, uh, how the data resiliency is done, and that is how your business continuity or disaster recovery can be achieved. Okay. Okay. So here are some of the uh, useful links that you can use for your learning, right? So as you can see, uh, this is the map of uh, where the Azure. Uh, regions and uh, zones are located. Uh, so as you can see from here the, the icon with the blue dot is the uh, representation of Azure regions and you can see that the, the Azure regions are spread across the globe. Uh, it's spread across uh, 140 countries and there are about 60 plus uh, regions worldwide. 
and right now uh, the icon like this are the ones uh, for the azure regions which are in um, a pipeline or they will join uh, in, the, in the later stage in a future date right and um, this icon out here with the dot is actually about availability zones so as you can see there are quite a few availability zones across yeah right and apart from this there are some uh, government uh, secret regions which are actually um, not disclosed and they're kept secret secret because they are being used for by the US government and yes and uh, with that you will have the confidence that even the US government is utilizing Azure services uh, for their data all right great guys thank thanks for your uh, time uh, and effort uh, for watching this uh, series and I hope uh, we have covered quite a bit uh, today and I hope uh, you guys have got a good understanding about Azure regions, zones, geographies and um, region pairs, right? Great. Um, until next time, keep watching and keep learning. And don't forget to click on the subscribe icon uh, to um, subscribe to the channel and bell icon for, to get notified for uh, for getting the updates as soon as the videos are getting uploaded. Great. Thank you for your time guys.